सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे विल डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट आर मेमरी ऑगमेंटेड न्यूरल नेटवर्क एंड हाउ दे कैन बी यूज अ वन शॉट लर्निंग सो बेसिकली मेमरी ऑगमेंटेड नेटवर्क एज आई टोल्ड यू अर इन मई प्रीवियस वीडियो आर बेस्ड ऑन न्यूरल ट्यूरिंग मशीन सो विल बी हैविंग अ ब्रीफ अराउंड वॉट आर न्यूरल ट्यूरिंग मशीन एंड इफ यू विश टू हैव अ डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन अराउंड न्यूरल ट्यूरिंग मशीन यू कैन विजिट माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सो बेसिकली न्यूरल ट्यूरिंग मशीन आर बेस्ड ऑन द आइडिया ऑफ एल एन ट्यूरिंग ट्यूरिंग मशीन विच वर्क इन द फॉलोइंग मैनर्स इट टेक्स एन इनपुट Uh, and then there is uh, a neural network called as controller that using this input and an external memory called as a memory matrix gives us an output and depending upon the input if it is adding some new information uh, the memory matrix is also updated now uh, instead of reading or writing from specific locations in the uh, memory matrix so uh, memory matrix can be taken as an n cross and um, np array so instead of reading and writing from specific locations what it does is that using some external uh, using some attention weights uh, it reads from every location writes to every location now uh, location where we don't need to add anything the weights would be very low and the location where we would be adding uh, like where we wish to make major update the weight would be very high so you can get the idea right uh, depending upon the weights the trade off between uh, writing heavily and writing low uh, can be managed out now uh, the weights that are generated is a combination of four operations one is content based addressing so how similar is the input that we are got with the memory matrix entries location based addressing uh, it helps us to manage uh, how much from the previous weights we should be carrying forward so it's more like uh, if i have a previous weight vector as xw and the new weight vector is yw so how much should be a trade off between uh, when we are moving ahead so it is basically helps us in capturing the historic information as we do in lstm if you remember the forget gate then there is a convolution shift operation to shift focus for different memory rows and sharpening to deblur the results i'm not going deeply into the mathematics because i've already explained that in my previous video you can visit that now in case of memory augmented networks we are bringing in some major changes so in uh, uh, in case of uh, attention weight vector generation as i told you the four steps only content based uh, addressing is taken and the rest of the things like location based addressing convolution shift and sharpening is rejected so it's just one uh, it's now comprised of just one uh, operation rather than three operations second being introduction of least recently used access uh, so i will be telling you that what it is and how it is getting used also separate weights are getting used for read and write operations so earlier in case of ntms we are generating just one set of uh, weights which are used for both read and write now in case of neural uh, memory augmented neural networks we are having different sets uh, of weight for uh, one for writing and one for reading uh, so first question is ki why location based addressing is skipped so if you have an idea about lstms uh, and if you know okay, what uh, is location based addressing so location based addressing was basically to forget to take some information from the history as well so it uh, it helps us in sequential data a lot but in case of memory augmented uh, uh, neural networks we don't need to remember the history part so in like for example it is not a sequential data hence we would be skipping location based addressing now what is least recently used access larua so basically uh, uh, comparing with ntms uh, what we used to do that uh, uh, with uh, the, when once we get the input with which our uh, memory row the input matches the most using the cosine similarity we are updating that now this can be very very low as well uh, it can be the case that the in, your input just doesn't match and is completely random to the information that we have got so like in case of uh, mans what you are doing if uh, there is no a uh, similar entry in the memory with the input that we have got what we would be doing is that we would be updating the least recently used memory space rather than all the spaces you get my point right so what we are doing here is that uh, if the input that we got is completely new it has nothing to do with the uh, historical information that we have got in the memory matrix and it doesn't have any cosine similarity with anyone so eventually what we would be doing is uh, we would be updating the least recently used rows in the memory so the rows that were used way back that uh, that holds on very um, old data now will be get uh, will be getten overridden by this new information that we are getting so this is done to preserve uh, the recently saved information so it can be the case that ki, uh, we have some important information in those uh, entries which are recently used and there is some spaces that hasn't been used recently for writing up so eventually uh, new information is going to uh, uh, locations that doesn't that holds a very historic data as compared to other other met, other rows in the matrix now let's understand the read and write operation alongside how this idea of larva is implemented in mans so basically the read operation is very similar to what we have in ntms uh, it's a summation over uh, read weights into the memory matrix 
सो यू कैन सी की हाउ मेमोरी मेट्रिक्स टाइम स्टैम्प टी वेट्स रीड इक्वल टू रीड वेट्स एट टाइम स्टैम्प टी एंड आई गोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टोटल मेमोरी रो सो इट्स समेशन ऑफ वेट इन टू द करस्पॉन्डिंग मेमोरी रो इट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू एन टी एम्स यू कैन चेक दैट मूव एंड हाउ आर दिज रीड वेट्स आर गेटिंग जनरेटेड इट इज समथिंग सिमिलर टू दैट वी डिड इन केस ऑफ एन टी एम सो बेसिकली आर फॉलोइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मुला वी कैन सी एक्सपोनशियल के के इज अ कोसाइन सिमिलरिटी फंक्शन विच इन टेक्स स्मॉल के एंड एम स्मॉल के इज द इनपुट एंड एम आई इज द करस्पॉन्डिंग मेमोरी रो फॉर विच द वेट इज गेटिंग जनरेट सो यू कैन सी दैट वेट रीड आई इक्वल्स टू एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ कोसाइन सिमिलरिटी बिटवीन द इनपुट एंड द मेमोरी द रो आई एथ मेमोरी आई एथ मेमोरी रो इन द मेमोरी मेट्रिक्स अपॉन समेशन ऑफ एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ के के टी एम टी जे सो जे गोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन तो आई थिंक इट इज वेरी क्लियर वेयर के इज द कोसाइन सिमिलरिटी फंक्शन नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट अ राइट ऑपरेशन सो राइट ऑपरेशन इज ऑल्सो अगेन वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट वी हैव गॉट इन एन टी एम्स एड ऑपरेशन सो यू कैन गो बैक एंड चेक हाउ टू हाउ यू आर डूइंग दैट सो इन केस ऑफ द लेटेस्ट मेमोरी अपडेट इज गिवन बाय द प्रीवियस मेमोरी वैल्यूज एट टी माइनस वन प्लस राइट वेट्स एट इंडेक्स आई इन टू के टी के टी इज द इनपुट सो इन केस ऑफ एन टी एम इट वॉज अ रैंडम रैंडम वैक्टर कॉल एज एर टेकिंग इट एज इनपुट ओनली सो आई इज द आई इथ रो इन द मेमोरी मेट्रिक्स दैट टू विच वी आर राइटिंग आउट सो द वेट्स फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर रो एंड के टी इज द इनपुट वैक्टर दैट वी गॉट नॉट अ बिग क्वेश्चन कम्स इज की हाउ इज दिस राइट वेट्स आर गेटिंग जनरेटेड नंबर वन नंबर टू हाउ इज लारो गेटिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड we will see how these uh, right weights are getting generated in three steps so the first step is uh, we need to generate usage weights uh, usage weights are basically how frequently a particular row is getting used uh, this particular formula helps us to determine this so the formula is gamma into uh, weight usage t minus 1 plus weight uh, read t plus weight write t so uh the equation is very straight forward and nothing to be discussed about uh so basically gamma into previous usage weights plus the current read weights and current write weights we are writing up gamma is a scalar the next one being we need to calculate weights least used so uh this is an operation that we would be performing over usage weights now so uh, we would be calculating the nth minimum weight in the usage weight vector so uh, what is this n first of all so n would be the total number of reads that we have done so far so if n equals to 5 uh, if read total read is equals to 5 it would be n equals to 5 if total read is equals to 10 n equals to 10 so once we calculate this minimum weight value in uh, usage weights vector that we have calculated above uh, we need to perform an operation over each cell uh, each value in the usage weight vector so if the value is less than or equal to this particular nth minimum weight value we would be set it as 1 else we would be setting it as 0 uh, so it is more of a 0 1 vector that we are generating using the uh, using the nth minimum weight as a threshold i think very straight forward it's pretty clear now uh, now using this uh, weights least used that we have generated using this particular if else statement using this uh, nth minimum weight as a threshold we would be generating our right vector uh, right weights so right weights are nothing but sigmoid function over alpha alpha is a scalar again into Read weights t minus one plus one minus uh, a sigmoid alpha uh, into weights least used t minus one. So weights least used is the one is the zero one vector that we are creating here, and this is how right weights are getting generated. The idea of Laroy is getting implemented using uh, the weights least used that we are generating and which we are incorporating in the right weights itself. So eventually, once we would be writing down the right weights would get updated depending upon the Uh, least used memory cells and right uh, and recently used memory cells and this